So I recently started playing around in Obsidian and it made me realize how good of an application it actually is and how wrong I was to not have tried to use it for that long of a time. So first and foremost, one of the things that Obsidian does that's great is the visualization aspect. There's this awesome graph view where things can just kind of interconnect based off of what the different references that you've made are before. So I had a little bit of an example here where I talked about professional runners and their different running shoes and how those running shoes are what they're using regarding the professional spikes and marathon shoes that happen as well as the different training styles that they have. So as you can see here, if I right click on one of these, I can open in a new pane the different parts of this data and information that's referenced to one another and I can just kind of see how things interconnect. And if I wanted to do some really in-depth notes and research on things, I can just kind of see the way that things interconnect in general. So if I go into something like this right here and press more options, I can see the different backlinks that were here and what different linked mentions were there or unlinked mentions were there regarding professional runners, which is what I just clicked on. So this kind of gives you a better visualization of different notes that you take that interact with each other and have different reference points that are similar rather than a notion where you just really can't do anything like that. So the visualization and the backlinks regarding that visualization is exceptionally better than what you'd have in something like Notion where honestly backlinks are just more of an annoyance than anything. And then the next thing is, this is just kind of an easier and snappier note taking feel to it because you can do things like have multiple panes open. So as you saw there, I was able to open up different things. And for me, I don't like the fact that I can only really do something like this for Notion to work well. Like I'd have to literally go and take two tabs and, and look side by side at things. Whereas in Obsidian, you can just interact with it by right clicking, open new pane. You can do things like split horizontally, split vertically, pin different ones to their merge files, do different things where you're just easily interacting with the data. Where it's just amazing that you can even have things pinned here and have it put into like reading mode versus editing mode. You can just kind of interact with your notes how you should and could want to where I just don't really feel that same thing with Notion. Like I can't interact with stuff like this and have these be split vertically and horizontally and just kind of interact with them in a very easy to use format. This is better note taking than Notion from that perspective. Also, the community is great. Now I'm not gonna say the community is bad with Notion, but the community is awesome with Obsidian. We're all trying to grow the platform and people are making really cool community plugins. So the software itself is really basic. It's just literally just text formatting and markdown functionality. But then you have things like the Obsidian community plugins. You have calendar plugins, Kanbans. I'm gonna make a video talking about the best Obsidian plugins that I found and all of these are literally just helping people make the software better. And that's what we really can all ask for as a community. I like the fact that people are doing their absolute best to expand upon the platform. And you can see there are hundreds of thousands of downloads of these community plugins, even though the software is relatively new. And I really like seeing this as somebody who is a big fan of productivity apps and community in general. And the last thing I'll say about Obsidian that I missed out on was it's all mine. I mean, look at this. This is my data. This is my Obsidian data. So the difference between Notion and Obsidian is the fact that Notion has all of my data stored on the cloud, right? So I have all this different information and data stored on a server that Notion has. If I type out any notes and have my wonderful daily planner opened up, there are a myriad of different things that they kind of have on me. So like if I if I just if they wanted all my personal information in my journal, like all this different stuff is just their information. It's not mine. And that's a little bit scary when it comes to stuff like this. Like this is not my information. They have all of my data and journaling. And yeah, I kind of trust Notion in this sense, but this data would be my data rather than the other way around. I can export this really easily. There is very nice, easy to use export functionality in all of this. And if I ever wanted to migrate any of this data, it's all here for me. It's saved on my vault on Obsidian, which is locally stored and not on the cloud, which is a lot safer, especially with the ways uh, things are nowadays. If you like this video and want to see more on other productivity apps, make sure to click this one to see how you can improve your productivity even more.